But I also like to do music. And uh, I, think, I think that's a big part of uh, what I do off the court to kind of keep my mind busy. You know, my passion for music is, is, has been, has grown so much over the uh, past recent years. I take music like I take every step, you know? It's, uh, you're gonna take a different step. You're gonna be walking on different, different levels, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, for games, I listen to a lot more like music that keep get me pumped up, exciting music when I'm home, relaxing, relaxation music, you know? But um, if you know who Barry White is, you know who Barry White is? Sometimes I would reverse. For the game, I would listen to relaxing music to, you know, kind of settle myself if I'm anxious. And when I'm home, you know, sometimes I'll dance to music by myself. <laughs> I use this, so, you know his song, Can't Get Enough For Your Love, Babe. I use this, so. Well, obviously you don't have the piano, you don't have the clarinet, nothing like that, but you use keys and there's different software um, that make the same sounds as you press the buttons on the, on the laptop. It's uh, all types of sounds. It's it's very it's very different. Some you might call it weird sometimes, but you know you could you could produce any sound out of your laptop. You know technology is very advanced nowadays, so I'm just really glad that I have that that uh, to my accessibility. I, I usually just go off of how I feel if I do make a song, but. Uh, I usually don't do the uh, the microphone, the talk, like the the rapping, the singing. I usually make the uh, the beat, you know, the sound that comes from. So that's how that's how I like to make my music. If we were to do this interview now, before I got to college and started studying communications, I wouldn't be able to talk to you and express myself the way I am right now. Um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like it took me a long way because uh, you know I was very silent. You know, sometimes you can see that in me, but uh, but yeah, uh, it, it just took me a long way. You know, with public speaking, speaking to the media, doing interviews, and you know, being a teammate along with that chemistry we were talking about, it just helps them get to know me better. My dad put the basketball in my hands. He was a he was all around honestly. He told me stories about how his coach would tell him to play the guard, then his coach would tell him to play big man like me, but he's only six foot one <laughs> with the jump shot. I think uh, is the most important thing. I feel like his shot is, you know, it's, it's it's pure, it's perfect. He he always puts a lot of detail into uh, into jump shots and, and, and explaining to me where I'm going wrong. He just sees everything because he's been he's been teaching me like ever since ever since I was young. Started taking it seriously when I was in middle school and then when I got to high school uh, I started working really hard and it started to see the opportunities it could bring um, education wise, you know being able to go to school for free, being able to help my family not have to pay my full college tuition. And with my size and ability, you know, I just couldn't, I couldn't pass that opportunity up. Steven Enoch checking right back into the game. Um, whenever I'm going through a tough time, it's impact. Uh, it works as in like, I think back on how far I came and where I am now, you know, and how much more I have to go. So basketball is really impactful. Enoch against the double team. Works his way through the paint and oh. old school. My memory from the college years, and um, it, was, it, was, it was amazing, honestly. And when I look back now, the time goes by so fast. And uh, I think that, yeah, I think that um, as a lot, of, a lot of college athletes would say, it wasn't, it wasn't real life. You get out of college and then you, you see what real life is like. Uh, I feel like we were 
I feel like our team had had a, had a great connection. I wanted to create the best opportunity for myself. Uh, dealing with that situation, even though it was probably one of the hardest years I've had as a basketball player, um, I still got through it, and I'm glad I did because it could have easily, I could have easily, you know, just said, I'll just wait until next year, you know, I'll just find an easy opportunity for myself. But no, I gave myself the, um, the hardest option. But in the end, I came out stronger, came out better. So, you know, I'm really proud of myself for getting through that. I learned, on, I lean on the things that I learned mostly in college. Um, in college, they taught us a lot about professionalism and how to be a professional. Um, so, and, and, and the morals I was raised on as a kid growing up, you know, I just try to carry that with me. Always try to recenter myself when things get out of control. But, um, but yeah, I feel like that's, that's the most important thing for me. A lot about basketball, but the most important thing I learned was about life because I learned how to, how to, you know, be a, how to live your life, you know, despite what's going on around you, you know, and, and be happy with what's going on, you know, regardless of how things are going for you, be happy, find something else to be happy for, be happy for somebody else, you know, so. Baskonia. I'm still learning every day what it means, every game. I'm learning what it means, you know, and uh, I think I have a pretty good idea of how important this team is to the entire um, Basque country. And, uh, you know, I just want to, I just want to put it all out there for them, you know, put myself out there on the line for each game, for the fans, and, and, and uh, just really show how much I appreciate this opportunity to play for Basconia. Chemistry is very important in basketball as well because uh, communication plays a huge role in it. Um, you got to know the guys that you go out there and fight the battles with every day. You know, the guys that you uh, um, go through bad times with, go through good times with. You know, it's, it's really important. I feel like with our team, um, we've experienced like, you know, ups and downs, but you know, I feel like we're overall, we're going in upward, upward uh, direction, so. This is my, this is my kid.